derivation. So we cannot use that formula m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 so on so on. So you have to use integration for that. So I'll select one small element because it's a circular ring. That's why a small element will be angular one like theta. So I select one small element. This element will be d theta. Let's say length of this one. This one dl. So it's a continuous mass distribution. So we can use this formula ycm is equal to integration y dm divided by integration dm. See xcm will be at 0 only. Which is symmetrical about x axis. So you have to find out ycm. So ycm is equal to y dm divided by integration dm. Now this length is y. Now I have to find out y and dm put in this formula integrate and we'll get center of mass of a ring. So dm is equal to m divided by pi r into dl. This one you can say linear mass density m divided by pi r. This is linear mass density mass divided by length. It's a semicircular ring so length will be pi r and mass per unit length m by pi r and length is dl so this is mass of this dl element this one this dl element in place of dl you can write r into d theta if you look at this one this is d theta this one dl and this one r so we can write dl is equal to r into d theta and if you look at this triangle this is y this angle theta and this one r so i can write y divided by r is equal to sine theta it means y is equal to r sine theta now in place of y I need to put this value in place of dm what I can write dm is equal to m divided by pi r and we already know dl is equal to r into d theta so it's multiplied by ds in place of dl I'll write r d theta so m divided by pi r into r d theta r and r get cancelled I'll get m divided by pi into d theta so in place of dm I'll write this value and in place of y I'll write r sin theta where in this formula okay now in place of y I'm writing r sin theta so r sin theta m by pi d theta divided by m by pi d theta in place of this y I am writing this value in this formula in place of dm I am writing this value in this formula itself so I'll get this one m by pi and m by pi get cancelled because it's a constant so we'll get r integration sine theta d theta divided by integration d theta now what will be limit of this integration if I select element over here theta will be 0 and if I select element at another end theta will be pi so what will be limit 0 to pi limit will be 0 to pi so if I integrate this one from 0 to pi If I integrate this one from 0 to pi, I'll get r minus cos theta 0 to pi divided by pi minus 0. Integration of d theta, theta if I put limit pi minus 0 that will be pi. So if I put limit over here, I'll get r minus cos pi minus of minus cos 0. 
डिवाइड बाय पाई नौ कॉस पाई माइनस वन माइनस माइनस बिकम प्लस सो आई एल गेट आर माइनस माइनस वन माइनस माइनस वन डिवाइड बाय पाई If we calculate this thing, it will become two R divided by pi. So axiom axiom will be zero, and ycm will be two R by pi. This is center of mass of a ring. 